right here. All right, what's going on, y'all? Copus Christian Originals back at it again. Here we go, episode 51. Happy Easter, y'all. Appreciate you. Uh, whenever I schedule these things, I forget uh, when I'm scheduling and which day holidays are around, whatever. Anyway, but I appreciate you guys joining. Uh, we're coming to you live from the Produce Sound Streamlab Studios here in downtown Corpus Christi, Texas. We got Paper Game Chachi with us. Hey, what's it going, man? It's Paper Game Chachi. You shout out to everybody's tuning in live today, man. Happy Easter to everybody and their families from mine and yours and from everybody here. Happy Easter. Hope everybody's having a blessed day today. And man, first, first off, foremost, man, I just want to say thank you yeah. for letting me be a part of this show. It's, it's really amazing. It feels good to be here. I like the energy. Uh, man, I really like what you do. You know, you're giving everybody an opportunity to speak their story. And yeah, man, so salute to that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I've seen you on the, on our lives and YouTube, man. I appreciate you watching that. Yeah, I've been. I've been, I've been a awesome. follower for a good minute now. That's what's <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm digging the, the face tattoos also, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. A lot of, several, several of the guys, uh, several of the other people that came on here, they had face tattoos as well. It's just oh, the norm around here. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. art. It's art. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's what's up. Uh, yeah, so what's so Paper Game Chachi, what's up with the name? How, how'd you come up on that? Well, Chachi just, um, I, I initially used to go by Lil CC, and that's Lil CC, so it was just something that was when I was younger. Yeah. I grew up, so I wanted to keep CC somehow, so that's where mm. Chachi came in, because the two C's still in there, Chachi, you know, yeah, CC. Yeah. The paper game is, uh, to be honest, that really came from my cousin. He had a little record label thing going on called Paper Game yeah. and uh, ENC, so kind of like... Shout out to him, but he let me go ahead and use the name, and I just kind of ran off with it, put that's paper cool. game in front of Chachi, and it is what it is now. Right on. Yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, that's cool. Uh, so I came upon you on Instagram or TikTok, a video about you uh, turning down an album or a record label or something like that. <laughs> What's the deal with that? Yeah, man. Um, I was like, holy man, that, I, that must be pretty... Uh, shout, out, shout out to them, man. It's, it, was a, it was a Christian label oh, okay. that they were trying to open new doors for like a better like they wanted to expand their label and do things they wanted to get into rap scene the music scene mm. a little bit and like on that type of genre and i kind of like i was interested but i they liked the styles of music i was doing like the the pain and all that they really digged it and i yeah. was just thinking to myself like yo like it's a good opportunity but i like to be different places in music like i do rap like that talk stuff about this that, that i cannot spit one on one topic just stick on one topic this yeah. is how i feel i'm gonna write about it and I'm, I'm gonna make a song about it so i just felt like i wasn't really the perfect fit for it wow so i just decided like if i turn it down there's always going to be a better opportunity somewhere and i really feel like that's what's going to happen soon wow that's awesome so shortly after watching that video I started researching and I found you on YouTube yeah. and then I, I was listening to, uh, to like the first couple of videos and then I listened to the song about your, your mom, late mother, right? Yeah. That was real. That I was like, damn, that's, that's heart. That's heart right there, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that, that must have been, yeah. How'd you feel about writing that song? Mm, well, just to be honest, just to even talk about my mother is a touchy subject, you know, like mm. yeah, she, when I lost her, I feel like my whole, I lost a lot of people. Like yeah. I, I just started sticking to myself more and I, I just believe the music came out more powerful when she passed, believe it or not. Like oh. I gained a lot of motivation from that. Um, The song she said is the song you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, Those are actual real conversations, word for word. When my mom got admitted in the hospital, it was January 12th. Oh, wow. So January 12th, she was admitted and um, she was supposed to go for a little procedure. She was already battling lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, mm. diabetes. She 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 was very sick since she by the time she was eighteen and she battled it all the way till oh, sixty four. Wow. Yeah. And um then she was supposed to go in for a little procedure. So when she went in for a little procedure, she just really never made it back out. Oh my god. Um January fourteenth, I was actually at recording over there at uh Monsi's uh people. And I had met OT over there too, that Mexican OT, shout out to him. I met him over there and, you know, we talked about a few things that I was going through because he saw that I, I I was going through stuff. And yeah. I told him, my mom, man, she's real sick right now. She's admitted. So I went to go see my mom the next day from that, from recording. And um, she basically had all these conversations with me, like, don't ever let my head down. Like, mm. doctors say, like, I might not make it this round, mm -hmm. you know, like, just keep pushing in life. Like, remember, I'm always around. And just like things like that lingered with me for a whole year. Wow. Just every conversation she had with me just lingered with me for a whole year. And uh, I was always questioning God, like, why you keep like allowing these thoughts of me and my mom's conversations. And the last thing she had, like, keep affecting me, eating me mentally, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, because I know I didn't want to forget my mom, but I wanted to like move on from it. Wow. So I felt that the more I heard about it in my head, it just messed with me. So 
I ended up creating just one time, just sitting down. I said, yo, I can't take it no more. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just picked the beat and then I, I just came up with that song. Just it's got to it's gotta come out. It had to came out. It had to come out. And I realized now, like, that's what it was. Like, mm -hmm. it stuck with me because it needed to be created to a song. Like, you mm -hmm. know, so now I look back at it, it's more easier to hear it and realize what she was saying. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's very powerful in that song. It's, that's it's awesome, it's man. Really we got the last conversation. Yeah. We got some people in here already uh, shouting, shouting out and saying hi. Oh, yeah. hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah, please the block. Uh, Gonzalez King Arturo, Jonathan, appreciate you guys for joining. Francesca, thank you for joining, mama. Love you. My daughter there. <laughs> yeah, no, man, no doubt. You got to get that out. And just, man, that's tough. And she was 64 years old. And those those things you're mentioning, too, a lot of our society, uh, our culture has those those diseases, you know what I mean? Yeah, my cousin, she was 34. She died of lupus. That's oh. basically one of the diseases my mom was battling as well. Mm. Yeah, so it's a, you know. You lose weight. Like, she she lost a lot of weight and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah. She, she had rheumatoid arthritis, too. So her, her bones were very brittle. Like, she couldn't grab a, a regular drink like this. Like, she had to grab, yeah. like, yeah. It's, seeing all that, you know, it really takes a toll on you and stuff like yeah, that. So right it's, all good. it's all good. So, so was that one? So was that one of the reasons why you got back? Because you, because we mentioned we we're talking on text on yeah. Instagram yeah. that you you got out of it and then you came back to it. Yeah. What's so, the story there? Okay, so I started off really. My brother and his friends, you know, they used to have a FSR, FSR Fully Squad Records, like a little thing going on back in the day. Mm -hmm. They were they were doing their own thing and stuff. My brother used to do music, whatever, and um, I was eight years old. I was eight years old. I I was always a younger sibling. He's wow. an older brother. I always wanted to be around my older brother, you know. <laughs> wanted he dared the cooler ones, you know. So I just wanted to be around my brother. And yeah, so one night he was just there listening to some beat, and I guess he couldn't really finish or come up with something. And mm. he's like, "Man, let's see if you could you could catch it." Oh. And for me, being eight years old, like just messing around, like I, I said what I said. I don't really wow. remember what I said, but I remember like him calling everybody of his friends oh, wow. and just saying like, hey, spit this again. And then we'll, and at that time, it was a house phone. <laughs> so, you know, the ones that with the long cords All right. used to have me like holding the phone for me and with the beat playing in the back wow. and then him just me just, just spitting it. And then he'll be like, all right. That she go and then they'll be like whatever they say about it like oh that's cool like what well, she's eight and then we'll hang up then he'll have me wow. call like all these other people and do the same thing and it was wow. just like yeah so ever since then i was just like dang like you know and then it took off from from being eight years old to being able to do that it really took off by the time i was 12 13 i was doing local shows wow. car shows going to san antonio with uh baby boys you know, shout out to him. He mm -hmm. goes by Drippy Drew now. I was doing shows with them. They were taking Andy. Shout out, man. R.I.P. Andy, man. Like, uh -huh. He really, you know, helped me push myself out there, take me to San Antonio and stuff. And I started doing shows out there. And yeah. um, I started getting older. A teenager, you know, we're all in the funk when we're teenagers. I, I started <laughs> choosing the wrong paths, to be honest. You yeah. know, girls really messed my mind up sometimes, you know, mm. and I stuck with them. And <laughs> instead of perfecting my craft, they kept right going. I just started like, you know, going one way when I was supposed to be going that way. It's like I seen that way, but yeah. this way looked better at the moment. Oh, and, sure, yeah. yeah, so I just really kind of stopped. And then as I got older, you know, life really gets you. And uh, I was battling, to be honest, just to be real. I battle sometimes from depression and oh, the wow. urge of other things, you know. Mm -hmm. And like the word I really, I'm a strong, firm believer, like where words fail, music speaks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I started just writing it down. I remember my mom used to tell me, like, just write it down, write it down, write it down. And yeah started getting bored of just writing it down so i started making everything rhyme oh wow and then uh yeah man i just started coming back up this time with pain music oh yeah and pain you know what i mean like everything yeah. that was real that i'm going through i just started really just putting it down you know you can tell you can tell when i was and i was listening to another track i can't remember it had this one line from uh, the animals song uh i'm just a soul uh whose intentions are good it's the jungle song yeah that one yeah that was a really i was listening to that one i was like damn this is like like you know what I mean? It's not just messing, just putting words together. It's something that's actually happening. Heartfelt, yeah. Every one of my songs right now, bro, is like literally something that's going on in my life. Wow. I, I don't, right now, it's every song is facts. Like, like I tell a lot of people, like, I can't give you a song to get high to or get drunk to oh, wow. or like go dance to because I'm not, in my mind space, I'm not there yet. But in my mind space, I'm talking about what I'm going through. That's, I'm venting basically. Right. It's my coping mechanism to like be able to cope with what I go through right now. Yeah, and and then like I think when people listen to it, they definitely relate to it. 
because oh, they're yeah. probably going through it as well. Yeah, man. I had numerous messages from just random people telling wow. me like, hey, I feel that. Like I lost, I made a song called 163. Mm. Um, I went to Martin Middle School and I, we lost a lot of people since then. Like wow. we lost a lot of people and um, made a song about everybody, basically all our friends that we lost. It's called 163. Awesome. And I had a lot of people just message and be like, hey, that's my cousin or that's my nephew that yeah. you talked about. Like we appreciate it. I just had other people just say like, yeah, man, like I, I, I really like get influenced by your music, you know, mm -hmm. and just telling me I'm not alone, you know, and it's just yeah. it's real good support and it's good feedback and it makes me feel like humble and blessed to know that it's reaching to others, you know, yeah. really never really wanted it to be like that. Like mm -hmm. I would just post my music and let it be for what it was. It's my coping thing, you know, yeah. but if it could help others by any means, like I support <laughs> it and I'm yeah. really happy for that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, we were talking about mental health on the last podcast. I think you were chiming in there, but yeah, that's I think that's something that's important to our community, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like, and I've struggled with it. You know what I mean? I'm ADD, ADHD, so I can see how somebody like myself can be, like, depressed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, because society, uh, I don't know, it, it's just not, the way it is, it's just not for us. It's weird. It's just not for that's us, That's how you know? I feel. I feel like I'm living in this world living in my own world does mm. that make sense like mm -hmm. that's the way i really feel in my life but right i make every day the best of it because yeah. we only got one life to live you know it's yeah. one life one you so that's what the clothing line that i'm coming out with is called lbu cool it's called live the things called live beyond you nice meaning like what you do now make sure you make a legacy out of it so that way when you're dead and gone or passed away the younger generations everybody else could still remember you some way somehow because you impacted it and you affected them in some type of way where it carry on. You know what I mean? Like that's like what a, legacy. Like a, a legacy. You're leaving a legacy. Leaving a legacy. Yeah. Wow. So how? When did you start thinking like that? Because not a lot of people think like that. You know. When my mom died. Oh damn. It was like a turning point for a lot of things. Like my. It's like my brain got rewired all over again. Wow. That's so crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. So, it, it, wow. Like at that moment, like when she passed away, did it take like a few a few weeks, a few months, or like how, how long? Did it take until like that actually made a change to have some people out there? Well, my mom passed. She passed away January 14th, two days before my birthday. Mm. I, I, my birthday was in two days later. Um, that time when I was just chilling on my birthday, like, dang, like, we planned a lot of things today. Wasn't able to do it. And then I was just thinking, like, the last conversations, like damn. the conversation me and my mom had was mm. to make her proud. Mm-hmm. So when my mom passed, I told my brother, like literally in the hospital, when she passed and I seen they lived with their body there mm -hmm. and they make sure like, you know, whatever. And then they put Damn. the sheet over her and stuff like that. Like it's real. Like it becomes it's real. real. Like, what am I going to do now? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, I got my mom now. Damn. And uh, so I just told my brother like, yo, it's time to make mom happy. Oh, my mom always loved my music, man. She would always tell me every time when I was sad to her, just wanted to vent her. She said, you, you're good at music. Write it down. Write it down. And mm -hmm. Talk about it through there. And I would always tell her, like, nah, nah. But now I'm taking her word for it. Like, <laughs> she, she knew something. Yeah. And when I came back this time with the pain. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm getting a lot of love and support, but it's because a lot of things, are, these are touchy subjects a lot of rappers and mm -hmm. mainstream artists really fail to speak about sometimes. Yeah. Like we can't all relate through the cars. We can't all relate to the, the fancy clothes, the chains, the yeah. car, like the mansions. Because some of us don't really have that. No. So I just decided to be real and 100 with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what I go through, I'm pretty sure there's many people who go through the same. Yeah, definitely. And it's like you become you become vulnerable, vulnerable in putting that stuff out. So it's kind of like you have to be that way in order to just to put that stuff out. You know, I don't know if that makes any sense. You can't, you can't tell a person you feel them if you never went through it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's basically what you're saying right now. Yeah, it's true. And I'm pretty sure that, like I said, there's a lot of people who go through that. Mm -hmm. It's just a subject that really, people don't really talk about. I mm -hmm. guess they hide it sometimes, but not me, man. I just, I'm just yeah. real with it. Just Yeah. There, some people, some people don't want to open up. You know what I mean? It's hard to open up. And if you open up your, you leave yourself basically open to get hurt. Yeah, you know what I mean, and it's like you have to do that to continue to evolve as a as an artist, you know, as a person. You need to continue doing that because if you we keep if we keep ourselves closed off constantly, then we're not gonna continue to grow. Yeah, and it's like there's already a fire, so all the emotions and negativity you put upon yourself that you keep in your head, it's just like throws more fuel to the fire. So mm -hmm. I'm just really trying to put it out, you yeah. know. So 
decide to speak about it. You know what I mean? That's right what on. I do. That's what I do with my music. I speak about it. That's good. That's it. good. Appreciate you guys watching, Victoria, uh, Lex. Uh, thanks for sh all these shout-outs. Yeah, Appreciate you guys. R.I.P. Nico G. I just seen that right now. Yeah, Bleed the uh, Bleed Andy and Nico G. For real, man. Yeah, right on. Yeah, so that's awesome, man. Right, man. So, so what are you up to now? Like, what are you up to now? Um, I know you got your your music out on YouTube. I couldn't find you really on Spotify or anywhere else. I was trying to listen, find on there because I listen. That's where I listen to music. Yeah, I, I actually do. We had a song on Spotify. One of them, uh, it's called Flooded Gates. It's it's one of the songs that you know talks about like a lot of sad things. Like, you know what I'm saying about my mom, mm -hmm. about a lot of things, about relationships. And yeah, it's just something I was going through at that time. But yeah, it's called Flooded Gates, and it's on there. It's on it's on uh, okay many of other uh, mainstreams as well. That oh, okay. one is on there. Yeah. What, what is it, Matt? It's called Flooded Gates. Flooded Gates, okay. Yeah, by Paper Game Chachi. Yeah, Flooded Gates. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Do you write? Do you write your own music, or you just write the lyrics? Oh you do? yeah, I write oh, my own no music. Kidding. I write my own music. Wow. Yes sir. Yes sir. Everything is all me. I write Hell my own yeah. hooks. Everything's on me. I actually have an EP coming out. No features. Oh. All me. Damn, do my that's own hooks and everything. Yo, that's crazy, yes, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's amazing to me. Yeah. I'm just I'm when I think of you guys because I I'm not really into the scene or anything like that. Obviously, you can probably tell, <laughs> but like uh, I, I just think somebody writes it for you, you go in there and oh, then you no, rhyme on it or no, whatever. No. But a lot of you guys are writing your own stuff. Yeah, I write. I've been writing my own stuff since the age of eight. No kidding. Yeah, everything's always been me since eight years old. Since the age of that's eight, hard. Yes, whoa, whoa, that's hard. I used to get imagine. in trouble in school. <laughs> I never <laughs> listened. I I had I struggled with ADHD. Yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. Telling you when I was little, so I like I move around and stuff like that. When I but when I was younger, man, I used to get in trouble all the time. The teacher would always tell my mom like, "Hey, she's not really learning." We're gonna have to put her in this special yeah. class because she's not getting what we're teaching her. But little did they know, I'm writing about what they're teaching me, but <laughs> I make it into a poem form or a rap form. And I'm just like, if I didn't understand, then how mm -hmm. to come up with this? Yeah. That's basically what they spoke about. Oh, damn. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. But I just listened to my own way. You know, I, I took everything out of it and just and made it my own way. They told my mom, my stepmom, because she's the one that kind of raised me with my dad, excuse me. They told her, oh, he's not gonna be able to go to college. What? Yeah. Yeah, went to college. I got my, I got a degree in music, bachelor's, a bachelor's, bachelor's from yeah. from A and M. Shout out uh, Islanders. <laughs> uh, yeah, but man, we can do we can do it. Like it's just I'm telling you, society, the school system, they just make it seem like you can't do it right. because you don't exactly like what you're saying. They you don't fit into their how how the they want you to do it. What they expect exactly, you to be, yeah. exactly. You're your own genre and you don't fit in their category. Appreciate yeah. you guys for commenting. That's all. Awesome. So, so you got that that out. Do you do shows? Have you done any shows lately? What's going on there? Since uh, I, I just been taking seri uh, music seriously for about a year now already. Um, my I haven't done a show, but I will be May fifteenth. We'll be at the Bridge Nightclub. Uh, okay. I have a few tickets April first. That uh, YK. Uh, shout out to my boy YK man. He's real good. He's the one who shot the Jungle video for okay. me. Okay. And the she said video for my mom. Nice. He shot both of them. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's his birthday bash. <laughs> he got a good lineup of uh, great artists from here, man. That are all underground or not mm -hmm. signed yet, or but they are all good artists, man. Very good artists. So shout out to every artist that's gonna about to be on that showcase that day on May fifteenth. Yes, it's gonna be a good turnout because man, all of these people that are on there, they got good songs, man. Yeah. So it's gonna be a very good set, very good birthday bash for him. Shout nice. out to YK again to everybody else on there. It's too many people to name, but they know who they are. Shout yeah, out to y'all, man. Yeah, it's amazing to me how big the scene is down here. Like, yeah. man, is it? It is. Like, there's so much stuff going on. I follow uh the riding high podcast which they have a concert series where they have all these artists sing on i seen that i be watching them too yeah. i'm telling you man i've seen them they be doing the freestyle stuff yeah i've seen i'm like damn that boy go hard yeah. like damn <laughs> i've been watching that i be watching that. i'm low, i'm low-key sitting on the couch you know just bench vibing yeah watching everything but i'm here you yeah know what I'm, I'm here that's what's up yeah, man I'm here. yeah you're there you're out there yeah yeah that's all that's awesome so so you got so shows you just kind of it seems like you're just kind of laying low right now making, making yeah. music laying writing low. laying low just putting as much content out as much as i can mm -hmm. uh, shout out to moog though moog's my producer johnny moog shout okay. out to johnny moog he's very he's been doing my music since i was eight years old right. i started recording perfect like with a producer like <laughs> but instead of a you know a, our own house you know um so johnny moog was the first one producer who uh, you know, has a name out here who, who recorded me at 14 
Mm-hmm. I'm already older now. He's still recording me. So shout out to Moog, man. He's been like a coach in a way to like yeah. coach me into this stuff. Like Wow, awesome. Yeah. So you write the music, you write the lyrics, you take it to him, he records it, puts it on. Puts it all together. Okay, yeah. Okay. Puts it, I tell him like, hey, this is the way I want to sound. And we figure whether we record the whole song. When we sit there and listen it together and I'd be like, nah, let me go back in there, tap in or change that, delete that. Like, yeah. And he's been very patient with me because I'm very kind of picky on it, but it's because it's me. Like, I want it the way that I have a vision in my head how I want it to sound and I kind of expect it to be like that. But he's very understanding and very all for it. That's cool. why I shout out to Moog, man. He, he's, very, he's a good guy, man. Shout yeah. out to Moog. It's almost as a producer, like, you, you can't like all genres of music. But it seems like he's in there, like to where he's doing. Oh yeah, man! You see what I'm saying? I, I recorded the she. It's funny he said that. Yeah. I recorded the she said. And I took like a country song, which all the guitar. That's basically. Oh what yeah, the yeah, song yeah, yeah. Is. He just looked at me like didn't say nothing. Usually mm-hmm. he's bobbing his head, right? But I could tell that he's trying to like rock with it, but he don't like it. Like I don't know, but I'm not telling him nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? I said, hey yeah. man, like I need this to sound good. Like it's for my mom. Like it's her anniversary coming up, her first year anniversary. Like I want, I need it to sound good. Like, right. I have a way I wanted it to sound. Just help me get there. Mm-hmm. He's like, I got you. You know, I got you. No, I got you. And I'm like, I know. That's why I brought it this way. Like help me out. You know? Help me yeah. out. So, yeah. He's all like, let's play. It. Played it. I'm over there in the booth, just you know, singing it. And he's just like hearing it. And then we put it together. And he's like, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I don't really fuck with the country stuff like that. Mm. But he's all like, this the way you made it. He's all like. It's real, yeah. Like, you know, it's it's good. It's live. The yeah. way you made it, it's live. And I was just like, man, I appreciate that. Like, yeah. And he's always been the positive person too. Like, man, you got this. Like, mm-hmm. man, this song's every time I record a song over there, he's like, damn, you're getting colder. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, you're really doing it. Like, wow. you know what I'm saying? Like, it was to a point I was recording every Saturday at his studio. Oh wow. Yeah. So y'all grew y'all grew to to have a relationship with each other, because obviously you got time. I mean, I not not be, like yeah. a, you know, but like a. You know, I guess business relation. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, we, practically, we practically are good people. He's like family, to be mm-hmm. honest. He's like family. Like, always shows love and support, man. I just, I'm very grateful for that, man. Very grateful for him. Yeah, blow it up. All right, pro. Yeah, we got some people on TikTok. Sorry, we can't see it on here. But yeah, thanks for joining on TikTok. Uh, we got the uh, Twisted Podcast. They're saying a lot of stuff on there. Uh, go follow uh, Paper Game Chachi. Uh, find her on, uh, there on TikTok. The Black Bleeders. Yeah, the Black Bleeders. That's, um, I think that's uh, Freak over there on uh, uh, the Ride and High podcast. Okay. They got something coming up on April 5th. Is it uh, Bleeds? Is it Freak? I think it's April 5th. The uh, Art Walk or Smoke Walk on the first Friday of the month of April. Oh, wow. They're going to have the concert series out here. Uh, one of these streets down here. Oh, wow. Oh, like wow. they do it on the podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's just saying bring the USB and your music and, and you can drop some freestyle out there if you're if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Yep, Friday, April 5th. Adriana Trevino, appreciate you. Yeah, it's awesome. Thanks it's a lot, you guys. Good feeling, man. A lot of love. Yeah. A lot of love. So far since we've been in this, that's, that's as many comments that we probably had here. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. It's, it's, it's a blessing. I'm very humble, so I appreciate everybody, man. It's it's crazy. It's, oh, it's yeah. getting real. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned so you, you were talking about uh, music and how how you how they they produce the music in there. Uh, and what was I thinking? Uh, yeah, no, your music is awesome. And Thank you. Yeah, it is. It Thank is. Uh, it's very heartfelt, and it's very like you can feel it. You know what I mean? Like because some stuff you can listen to it, and it's just like ah, you know what I mean. And but when you listen to it, it's really heartfelt. And the and the the track, like that one track for Jungle, it was pretty good. Yeah, th- come on a track. So I, yeah, there's another female out here. Do you consider yourself a female artist? Um, I try to just consider that? myself an artist. Okay. Because like I just just an artist, you know. I'm just music's just my way to vent. Like right. I said, like I told my brother, hey, if it takes off, it takes off. Like, and so far it's really going in that direction. But um. Mm-hmm. I just consider myself an artist, to be honest. Just okay. An artist, yeah. So, so like the the term like female or or like girl, like that doesn't does it that... does not bother me. Uh, oh, okay. It does not bother me much. I just don't like to be like labeled like hey, because I don't want to stay stuck in that category. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I was like... gonna say like, so do you feel like people? Do you feel a certain like? How does it make you feel being that most of the people are men? I guess you could say. Do you want to in know the what's industry, crazy? In the people industry. People trip out when I tell them I'm a whole female. <laughs> okay. They hear my songs, they be like, damn, that, that dude called. Yeah. I'm like, 
And then my people that be showing them be like, oh, she my cut, she my cut, yeah, like, hey, she my homegirl. <laughs> she like, be like what? And they be tripping me out when I meet them. They be like, yo, you go hard, dap me up. But I didn't know you were female. I'm like, yeah, it's yeah. crazy, right? Yeah, it, like, yeah. yeah if I would have heard your music before I had seen you, yeah, I was like, I, I would be like, oh, that's a dude because that, yeah. your voice, the register's real, yeah, it's low, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I mean, it's all great music, man. I, I, both genre, like both females and guys like you. You know, it's, it's it goes both ways for my song, so it's very one. Yeah. It doesn't just stick to one audience, which which grateful for it goes to everybody. Even the younger kids, man. The yeah. younger kids, like they really like it. And wow. All that. I had people. Uh, shout out to Benny Adam, man. His 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 kids. They like the jungle song. Right on. They like the hook. They sing it out loud. <laughs> they, yeah. He, he was even recording them in their car when he plays my song, and nice. they be in the back just screaming at the top of their lungs, man. It was a great feeling to see that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. A great feeling to see that. Very humble to to be like, dang, like as long as they like it, man. You know what I mean? That's all that matters. Makes me happy. He puts a smile on my face. You know? Yeah. It really does. That's good. So you went to you said you went to Martin Martin Middle School. Yeah. Uh, did is it? Did you go to schools in that in that area? Did you go to Moody? I I I heard. From Martin to Moody, yeah, I went to many high schools until I got kicked out of basically all of them, oh. to be honest. Yeah. So you had trouble in a lot of those? Yeah, like I had trouble with ADHD and stuff like that. Yeah, I like got that. you. It's not that I was a bad kid. It was very hard for me to learn a certain way, so right they on. just labeled me bad and just threw me basically away. I ended up graduating though a year early. <laughs> yeah, a nice. year early. Graduated eleventh graduate, top ten of my class. Right on. Yeah. I went to uh, I graduated from a. Uh, it's called La Raza, but the real name's okay. called Dr. M. L. Garza Gonzalez Charter School. Right there across Baldwin? from the Taco Rico. Um, uh, okay, okay. Uh, you know uh, what's right there? There's a little store. It's on um, Greenwood. Where Martin's at, just more down the street. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, right across from Taco Rico, basically. Taco Rico. Store, yeah. <laughs> shout always, out. Yeah, shout out to Taco Rico. We used to go all the time. We used to go to school and got us some tacos. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Some great tacos. So this day, I still pull up if I can. Oh, yeah. Go get some tacos. Yeah. I bet. Where is that at? I'm trying to figure out where it's at. I know. Uh, okay. You know where the Greenwood Library's at? Uh, yes. By Martin, okay, on the corner. If you just go to the Caddy Corner right there, yeah, that's the little store. Taco Rico's right across uh, the street, yeah. and right next to the little store, it would be the school, Doctor uh, Diamond Shamrock. It used to be a down line. It's, it's still a store though. Yeah, okay, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. Corner, but right next yeah. door, it's a, it's, it's a school. Right yeah, on. it's a school. Yeah, yeah, school. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there a fire department around there? Yeah, right okay. across the street. Right across. The, yeah, the there's Greenwood a library. Yeah. No, oh, no, no, no. The, the fire station's still there. Okay, okay, But there's okay. a school right across the street. Okay, okay, yeah. I've got, my mind is hazy. I haven't been out there for, man, forever. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's still there. It's still a school. It's still open. People yeah. still go there, yeah. Yeah, right on. So do you still live on, live on that side of town, or do you mess with that side of town, or how, how does that how does that go for you? Which H-E-B do you like to, to go to, or which one do you avoid? <laughs> the one on port. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, dude. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man i mean i got love for all the sides i really don't care like i'll just pull up wherever one, whichever one i'm closer by is the one i'm gonna go you yeah yeah I mean? right on <laughs> but the one i'm part is who do i try to avoid sometimes you know what i mean oh yeah it's like damn like i've seen fights and all that like, <laughs> all this crazy stuff but no i'm saying now nah, but it's all see, love man it's all love it's all love. did you see that video of the the stripes uh the Laredo Taco Company lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, what? I seen the many shares, and I was like, dang, like, it gets real it's in the national. field over yeah. here, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. Mess with the taco ladies from Stride. <laughs> she already had enough. <laughs> for real. Yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. Oh, what time is it? I got thirty minutes. All right, cool. Yeah, so you got? Do you have any songs coming out? Somebody was asking if you had any. You got any songs coming out? I do. So okay. May fifteenth, when I go perform, there are gonna be new songs that nobody's has heard yet. Nice. Yeah, so I got a lot of songs here in the making. Actually, um, I'm actually starting to get on the 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 crunk stuff, like the dance stuff now, okay. like stuff that you could actually vibe with instead of trying to lean off the pain so much, right, trying right. to give somebody else some other stuff to listen to. So oh, okay. yeah, I'm gonna start dipping in. You know, I, I I'm starting to do country too. Right, like, right. yeah, I, I got some stuff on my sleeve with the country still. I'm just really exploring all what I could do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just try not to stick to one stuff like I'm doing everywhere I could be. Yeah. Just music. I love music, all type of genres. Like, oh, yeah. I like it. Like you know, if there's a beat or rock, if I can do it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, um, that's dope. That's cool that you see that you need other other types of stuff for your for the audience or for your audience. Yeah, in order to gain a bigger audience, you gotta step out of your comfort zone. There you, you go. Gotta take risks. Yeah, that's good advice right there. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's not only in music; it's in life. It seems like it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like your 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 lifestyle is intertwined with your music. 
and it kind of, I could kind of see that, you know, just talking talking with you about that, which is it's just a good thing, you know. I think people need to see our lifestyle and how we live it. Appreciate you guys on TikTok. Thanks for uh, for joining in. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So you got. So how many songs do you have out? Do you have? Do you do albums or do you do songs or how, how do you do that? Dude, I've never had an album. This is gonna be my first EP. Okay. My whole life. Oh wow. My whole life. Yeah. It's, that's why I made sure this EP has no features. Everything's okay. gonna be on me. The hooks. The, everything. So you want to make sure that 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 the it's EP special your to first me because one. it's gonna be my first. Yeah, I had people. I actually the only feature I've done. Mm -hmm. Is a feature with AB Da Vinci. Okay. That song is called My Shit. Shout out to AB Da Vinci. We killed yeah. that one, man. Shout out to AB Da Vinci. Shout yeah. out to Drew B. Shout out to everybody. Kevin, all them people. Like, they really show me love. Yeah. I'm actually having talks with uh, Drew B about doing a song too. We're going to get back with each other and see, you know, what mm -hmm. we come up with. But that should be in the, you know, the verge of making as well. But yeah, that's the only one I got a feature with was AB. But that song goes hard. It's called My Shit. In this in this community, do you feel like you have to be have to feature with somebody in the community? I feel like no. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, as long as you're real, you're humble. You don't try to be like anybody else. Because in my eyes, nobody is better than nobody else. Mm -hmm. We're all in the same boat, in the same ocean, just trying to get to the same island. Right like there shouldn't be no competition with anybody. Like we 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 should all just show love to everybody. It's all love with me. Like I, I'm I'm a big person with a big heart. I come with love. Like you respect me, I respect you. You show mm -hmm. me love, I show you love more. How do you, you know find your like so? How why how do you do that or how do you find yourself having that type of attitude toward that? Because some people they don't they don't want to do that. It's on me. It's me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the way that's I how am. you are. It's how I was raised. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, I think how we were, how we were raised is, says a lot about a lot about us. Uh yeah, makes me think about my parents, my dad. Yeah, and my... they did a great job with me. Shout out to my dad. Shout out to my mom. Oh, shout yeah. out to my older brothers. You know, my sisters, my cousins. We're all raised right. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. we're all raised good. We're good. We're good people. Like you always thought to show love. Never think you're better than nobody because nobody is. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel like it. Nobody is. Yeah. Nobody's better than nobody. Yeah, right on. Yeah, ain't nobody. Nobody's better. Like I, I was reading. I read the Bible. I was reading a verse, uh, Proverbs, where it's like. Uh, uh, God made the basically the the rich man, and He made the poor man. He made both of them. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? So yeah. He gives light to the eyes of both. Mm -hmm. So no, one is not better than the other, whether no matter your economic status. Yeah, yeah, You're right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Like you could make so much money, make so little money in the eyes of God. You're still. He still gave light to the eye, your eyes, whether you have a lot of money or you don't. Yeah, there was some guy, man, that said, yeah, that's that's very true. There was some guy that said that uh, he had told me, he's all like, even though that person may have more than you, you still rich mm -hmm. because you still have what they have. Like, you got family, you got love, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And love goes a long way. And I started to realize that, like, yeah. you're not better than me. Like, the people who be like, oh, this, that, I got this, like, that's cool. That's mm -hmm. material things. Like, mm -hmm. you cannot take it with you. And what I'm going to take with me is a whole lot of love. And I want to leave a legacy. Right on. You know what I'm saying that's why I kind of like really doing this music for for good now. Like yeah. I'm gonna do something with it. Yeah. So do you know? So along the lines of that, do you know where? Um, like, do you are you trying? Do you consider like trying to make it, or how do you, how do you like what what which oh, steps I'm, are I'm you gonna taking? Make it. Okay. Okay. So that's how you see it. Laws of attraction. I'm gonna manifest it, and I'm I'm a firm believer of that. Okay. Do, so do you positive. do you plan it like do you plan it out like okay this I need to. Oh yeah. Okay. I plan it out definitely. I planned out being consistently with my music, and everything I really spoke about. I spoke about doing music before my mom passed. Like hey, I want to get back into this. Like mm -hmm. with a certain somebody, you know, I they know it too. Um, I spoke about it like. I'm going to get back on this watch. I'm I'm going to get back on this. Like, I'm going to be on the radio. I'm going to be doing this, that, that. I'm like, hey, you didn't even say it too. I'm going to be on interviews with podcasts. And they're all like, man, whatever. You, you stopped music a long Crazy. time ago. You stopped. And then, nah, a year later came. My mom passed. I really just stuck to what I said. And it's crazy. I'm on a podcast now. Yeah. I have a song, Wait Up, that was on the radio. Shout out to Bobby Stump. Shout out to Trey. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. put it on for me. Like, it's crazy. Like, it's everything I spoke about is really coming true because I'm a firm believer of faith. Mm. As long as when you got faith, and like Matia told me, she said, you could do anything you want to do as long as you believe, you know, you could do anything through Jesus Christ who strengthens you. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a strong believer of the Bible too. My dad's a pastor. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they all, I always had their religion. 
and all that. And music's always been a part of my life. My dad used to be a drummer for the church band. Right. On. Now he's a pastor, and it's crazy. You know, yeah. So it just kind of all just really just all play. My whole life just played out into the, like. It's still yeah. playing out. Like I don't know what I'm gonna be doing in a year from now. I'm, yeah. But I know it's gonna be doing something great. Yeah, <clears throat> I used to be a part of the church community here in Corpus. I'm really not, not a part of it anymore. I it, I just see a lot of hypocrisy. You know what I mean and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you do do you deal with that? Like, how do you think about that? Because I know you're. You said your your dad's a pastor and he used to be a drummer and all this stuff. So you know what it's like. That that culture. You yeah, know what I'm saying? The, the ways and yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, and for me, like, I tried it out. You know what I mean? I still believe in God and all that stuff, but it's just like that, that, it just ain't for me. I yeah, tried several yeah. churches, you yeah, know what I mean? I but I it's just. Go, I don't go to church either. Uh -huh. I don't go to church either. And I don't believe you really got to go to church to believe in God. Like, you mm -hmm. believe from your heart. You know what I mean? Like, as right. long as you have them talks with them, pray to them every morning, every night, yeah. before you do what you do. Like, before here, I prayed. Like, right. You know what I mean? As long as you got that relationship with God, like, he, he, he ain't going to forget about you. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to. And it's like, you don't have to have, you don't have to be affiliated with a church to know that you have a relationship with God. That That's just how my look on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, because people will, will let each other down as people. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of... And these churches are built on people, you know. No, what I yeah, mean? yeah, yeah. No, for sure. You know what I mean? They're, 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 they're some of them are trying to fill seats, maybe because they they got a, a church loan or whatever. You know what I mean? You never know the motive yeah, behind yeah, all that know. stuff, but it's there. Yeah, you know what there. I mean? It's there. A lot of people don't talk about it. Some people they just kind of just they go into the church and then they leave and then they don't talk about it. You know what I mean? But I'm just yeah. like, dude, why don't we talk about it? What, what is all this stuff going on here? Lexi G, what artists in Corpus would you want to collab with that you haven't? Oh man, really? I can't really just. To be honest, I can't pick just one. We have a lot of great artists here, man. This blows my mind how there's so many <laughs> great artists yeah. here, like crazy. Yeah. Like we probably should be like the next Houston. Like yeah, I, no I, kidding. That's how I feel. Like you know, as long as we all show love to each other, not be competitive with one another. Mm. Like we could all make something of this city and be more popping than what it already is. But yeah. It deserves more recognition. Like we're all great artists here, man. We're all great in our own ways. Even if you don't rap, you do mm. something, a job. We're all great in our own ways. And yeah. That's what I feel. Do you think that, like, uh, so talking about that, like speaking of like uh, the genre of music that these artists are in, yeah. Do you think that it gets a bad rap, like from say higher ups in the city or just all together? Like, do you think about that? Like, how does that? How do you? I think do. I, that's why I try to stay away from that topics and stuff. Try to be commercial with it, mm. and that's what I'm about to why I kind of wait. Like, just be commercial with the music. Don't stay away from subjects like that. Like, not mm. saying like I'm against it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not really against it, but in my music, I don't want to speak like that. So I just try to like just keep it, you know, commercial yeah. wise in a way. Some people might be like, "Oh, well, that's uh, you know, you're not being true to yourself or whatever, whatever." How do you how do you respond to people like that? I have never sold any type of drugs or anything like that. I've never been like that, so it's it wouldn't be mm. being fake with myself. But mm. Yeah, so nice. they, everybody knows who I am. Like you know, right on, right on. a lot of people know me. Like I come with love. I'm humble, and that's probably the reason why I get a lot of love. Yeah, you know? hell yeah, yeah. It speaks worlds, like, and it goes a long way too. That's for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Appreciate you, Jay Bustos, uh, Twisted Podcast on TikTok. Thanks a lot, you guys, for joining. I'm not sure if you guys are still on there. I'm trying to trying to keep up with you guys, but I'm enjoying the conversation here with Paper Game Chachi. Appreciate you guys. Uh, so so uh, um, I guess we covered a lot of the stuff that we wanted to talk about. Is there anything you want to share? Nah, man. Just appreciate all the love, man. There's all these comments going crazy in there. Yeah, it's hell like, yeah. It feels good, man. It really does feel good. Do y'all have any y'all got any questions? To, uh, any questions? Oh yeah, here? If they want they want to ask, ask me questions. I'm all for it. Yeah, yeah. If you guys want got any questions for uh paper game Chachi, leave them there in the comment and we'll uh we'll bring them on out. Uh artist from Corpus, uh so we already got that one. Yeah. Uh Kiani Moreno, Sandra Riojas. Uh we got MZ one seven nine. Can't see your name, sorry, it's kind of far away. Uh just listen to the loyalty song. I like it. Who's, who, 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 they want you to freestyle. <laughs> Just want you to know I'm so proud of you and love you. All right, cool. That's awesome. Man, you got a lot of love. For real. It's crazy, right? Are you single? Twisted Podcast said. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Sadly, I'm single, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know. Yeah, they keep asking you. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. So so when you so freestyle like there's there's the, I was listening to the Right and High podcast. Shout out to those guys, and uh, they were talking about how is freestyle like actually coming up with it right then and there, or is it you already have rhymes in your head? I would say you come up with their right and rare, a uh, right then and right there, because if it's written, it's not a freestyle. Yeah, uh, it's something that's already written, you know. Right, right. That's how I look like it. Drop a beat. <laughs> <laughs> save, save that freestyle for Friday. All oh, right, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Appreciate okay. you, freak. Yeah, <laughs> heck yeah, man. He knows what's up. Dang. Yeah. Boy, that's that's very nice of them for giving me an opportunity for Friday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very nice of them. Yeah. Yeah, for Shout sure. out to them. You said a freak, right? Freak? Yeah, yeah. Shout out um, to you, freak man. Freak or the bleeds the block. I'm not sure what that is. The bleeds the block bleeders. Oh, uh, shout out to Thea. That's the one I told you that she told me I could do anything I put my mind to and that I could, you know, do anything through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. She she she's the one who told me, like, man, like yeah. you're gonna you're gonna go far. Like I'll come to her. My I, I suffer from depression. I ain't gonna lie. Like that's right. I'm not afraid or ashamed to say things like that. Like, mm-hmm. you know. My mind could travel a lot sometimes and thoughts and negative things that just take me deeper than what it really is sometimes. Right. So, uh, yeah, man. Like overthink, her. overthinker. I'm an overthinker. Yeah. I'm a very overthinker because I'm also an overachiever. Mm. Like, I just like, yeah. So, uh, she would tell me all the time I'll cry to her and stuff. And she'll be like, hey, uh, you know, you can do anything you put your mind to. You're going to make it far. You're going to make it far. You're going to do something with this music. Start doing it again. Start. Mm-hmm. She was right. So, yeah, yeah, doing it again. So, you had to stop for a while. Yeah, so you say if it was a freak there, fourteen yeah, years and counting, supporting locals. Yeah, dang man. Yeah, so you mentioned depression, like depression from overthinking. Like, how do you how do you find yourself? Like, I don't understand it. Like, cause I think I know what it is, but I don't know when I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're depressed. When you're depressed. Yeah, yeah. Um, to me, I like to like. I, I I become very distant when I'm depressed. Like mm. I don't really like to be around a lot of people. Uh, I stick to myself, and and I I I guess I'm very grateful for my depression because it's when my best music comes from. Right. So I guess I got it for something, you know. But you, it, it, I just feel like if you got something like that with depression or anything, make the best of it. Yeah. Like, make the best of it. How do you find yourself? Do you find yourself having trouble communicating with others? Because sometimes, like I know, in depression, we can't. We don't communicate a lot. We just communicate in our head. Or in your case, you write it down. Yeah, to be nervous, I was nervous to come over. To be honest, I was nervous <laughs> coming over here to be right okay, you know. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm not very. I don't really open up to a lot of people. I don't know, but I mean, yeah. like, yeah, I feel comfortable here. Hey, yeah, I really appreciate, appreciate, that. appreciate that for you having me. Hell here, yeah, man, that's awesome. Seem man. like a real genuine person. Oh yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, and that I, I bring that. I want to bring that in my podcast. And it seems like to be a good good uh, podcaster. Like I was noticing that that's what they were saying. Like you got to genuinely be interested and care you know what i mean yeah yeah uh, actually joe rogan's the one that said that in one of his interviews they were interviewing him like how do you how do you podcast or how do you interview or whatever and that was one of the things he was saying like just got to be genuinely interested in, in the person yeah or what they're talking about and you know? I, I i could tell though you you are you are a genuine person man. thank you and i really appreciate what you do man this is like it's yeah. really a blessing to me like it's really blessing. I'm I'm very grateful for this opportunity oh, to be yeah. able to speak and let others know how I am personally as a person, my character, you know. Yeah. I'm always love of mine. It's love of mine all the time. Yeah, that's what's up. That's awesome. How do you find yourself? So you got your music out there. You have your pages, your TikTok and your Instagram and stuff. How do you find yourself like marketing yourself? Uh, but my, I, to be honest, I, I really just run my facebook I, I tune in time to time from the instagram tiktok and all that but it's yeah. actually being ran by my manager oh no kidding yeah so yeah uh, yeah just he were uh earlier you were texting him <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay yeah, yeah but i was right i was messaging ah, him time, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. i talked to him time to time but it was my manager yeah okay yeah, yeah. So, how, so how long have you had a manager or i mean i bet i had a manager for quite a while already okay, since i was okay. younger from 14 Helping but out. It's always a, uh, it's my brother. Shout out to my brother Daniel, yeah. man. Uh, he's been my manager since I was young. And he's I, looking out for you. He, 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 man, a long time ago, man. He he stopped messing with me because of music. Because uh, I went all messed up one time to a show, mm-hmm. and he just walked out. I seen him when I was on stage. Oh. And he told me he messaged me, and I was like, "Hey, man, you left." And he's like, "Yeah, man. When you when you're ready to get serious, like holla at me." Damn. So this time, when my mom passed, he saw how serious I was, and I could tell like. 
he used to be the type where I'd be like, hey, check this out. What do you think about this song? He'd be like, keep pushing, keep trying, like keep going. But when I came back with all this pain stuff, he was like, damn. Mm-hmm. Like, how'd you do that? Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, he, I could tell, like, I, and I was like, I got better, right? Whoa. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, I could tell because you're not no more saying keep going or keep trying or, you know what I'm saying? Just, that's cool. It's like, damn, like, that's fire. Like, you know what I mean? You yeah. did that. Like, that's and I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. How much older is he from you? Mm, I need like 10 years or 12 or 11 or like 10 older, years. older, yeah, brother. He's older. Yeah, he's my older brother. Yeah. Wow. He's real cool, man. He's He's the one who actually would had me calling them people since I was eight years old. Like when I caught the beat, yeah, he was the one that had me call all his friends. Oh, seriously, and just spit the same thing I just said, and I was like, "All right, all right, wow. all right. yeah." So ever since then, man, that's gonna always be a crazy big story. bro. Yeah, and big bro, he's that he's. He steers me no wrong. Always wants the best for me. He's like, yeah, he's like a dad to me, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that's he's awesome. Like a dad. Was yeah. your dad around like at that time, like, or was he mostly my, like a father figure? Or my dad was a truck driver. So oh, no kidding, I'm a yeah. truck driver. No, for real. No, yeah, yeah, he was a truck driver. So he's been like gone a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. So my mom would just be with us and all that, and um, my brother would step in. My older no brother. No yeah. Well, yeah, I got two. I got two. Uh, two younger ones. Uh, and yeah, I try, I'm not out as much. Um, I am like home every night, but it's kind of like late, late in the evening or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, man, that's that's inspiring, cause uh, actually see my kids how they are together, and it's pretty cool to watch them like interact with each other and just hearing you and your brother's story is like wow, uh, it's encouraging to know that that's that that's around. Cause sometimes I get like, damn, am I way too much? You know what I mean? I I overthink as well. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah no, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, man, am I not home enough? And my wife, she's like, just chill. Chill out, you know what I mean? You're good. <laughs> Just keep making money, yeah, you're yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yo, yeah. When my dad was truck driver, man, we ne we never went without anything. All of our needs were met, all of our wants were met as well. That's good. It's just a time away, you know. But I was pretty young, you know. And as I got older, he started being around the house. So when I got older, it was like, "Hi, nice to meet you again." Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm your kid. Let me you reintroduce know, this. This is what I like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but nah, he's a good. <laughs> He's a good dad, man. He's a good dad. Shout right out to him. He's a pastor now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yes, yeah, pastor. That's awesome. Did you want to say the church or not really? Uh, not yet, not Shout out not. to TikTok. Appreciate you guys. We got a Gilbert L. Uh, Twisted, Pod uh, Twisted Podcast. Thank you for being on here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on in TikTok. First time actually streaming the TikTok. If you're, if you're a watcher on TikTok, go check it out over there. Uh, caught in the time. Stephanie, Stephanie Marie, Isabel Martinez. Uh, yeah. Appreciate you guys. Uh, we love y'all. Thank you. Oh, look, check that out. Freak said, Go for it. Chachi grow like all the artists her age, like Lil S and Baby Boy. Yeah, man, I've been doing this. Shout out to Lil S and Baby Boy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man. Shout out to them. I used to be a little group with Lil S back in the day. We went by CTR. Then we wow. went from the Get It, Get It Mob. Kind of just grew away, went our own ways, you know. Right on. But shout out to them, man, for real. Yeah. Yeah, Freak, Freak knows a lot of people out here. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's definitely in the scene. Uh, Check them out. There's a lot of good people in the scene, man. Oh yeah, a lot. Yeah, definitely. We had a uh, Drupi Mar Marinez on here, man. Uh, oh yeah, I seen that one. Yeah, you saw that, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. That's the one I was telling you. We're gonna get, uh, get a song together. Yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, yeah. talked about it, and I'm like, you're like, hey, man. I was like, I was like, hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you shot you you called you reached out to him or? Uh, nah, Alex. Um, uh, I believe that's. I want. I don't want to. I don't. Remember. Shoot, I, I believe his name's Alex. He's a skateboarder. He does like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know skateboarding Universal. There you go. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah him. He has all like, hey man, you should get on us. He 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 DM'd me. He was like, hey man, you should get a song with my boy. And I'm like, oh nice. Who's your boy? He's like Droopy. I'm like, oh I, I, I fuck with Droopy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I did a song with AB. He's like, yeah man. He said he's down. He's like, just get at him. So I'm like, all right. So then I hit up Dro uh, Droopy. I was like. Yo, and he's like, yo, and I'm like, hey man, uh, your mm -hmm. boy sent me to you. Let's get a song. <laughs> nice. Like, I think it's long overdue. Oh, he's wow. like, yeah, man. He's actually doing a couple of things, and I was like, let me know. If there's something you want to get on. Yeah. Or you got an open verse you want me to get on, or nice. we just create something all Figure it out. And yeah, he's like, I'm gonna go through this boat. Well, I'm gonna see what I got. If not, you know, we just create. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. I was like, for sure. So we got something in the making coming on too. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I got I got a couple things up my sleeve. Like I got I got songs that I'm about to start dropping too, back to back. Like I took a little break. Mm -hmm. I gotta have a little mental health break. You know, no, what okay, I'm okay. You have to get back to it, but I'm, I'm ready. I already got songs written down. I already got like at least seven songs ready to record. Yeah, so keep that. at it. Yeah, keep at it, man. That that's your outlet. We were talking about that too, man. Regarding mental health, like you gotta have an outlet uh, to to try, I guess channel it in because you can get into a deep spot. This yeah. guy was actually talking about like yeah. his friend committed suicide and all that stuff. Yeah. So I was like, damn. That's, so anyway, he was saying like, uh, you know, have an outlet and music is 
tremendous outlet. I'm a musician myself, uh, so I, I understand. You know, even in high school, and middle school, when I would get home, I would just want to play my guitar because, you know, it's tough out there for us for us kids that are you know in in, the, in that mental spot. You know, can people still order shirts? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You can still order shirts. Um, I'm actually wearing one of the shirts right now, mm -hmm. and I got another one. It's no fake love with a heart and two knives stabbed with some bandages. Um, yeah, but um, we're actually already gonna have um, that 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 first round of waves like surprisingly is sold out. Nice. So yeah, so we're that's good. Guys, that's very good. Yeah, yeah, I was very surprised. <laughs> you know, I was like, dang, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sold out. Like now we're already coming up with another design. So yeah. those designs about to be put up too. What's the website? Um, right now the website for the, or, or, or where do they get the shirt? How right do, now, just getting at me. I, I okay, I wasn't gonna say anything, but um, oh, right sure. now we're on the verge of creating a website, so okay. soon I'll have my own website. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, the name will be everything I'll be posting soon. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's getting a lot of good things, man. Good things, and I, I really believe like my mom's still here. Yeah, for real though. Wow. Yeah, yeah, man. That's deep. Yeah, I really do. Uh, since she passed, it's crazy because that's what I said. Like, I really feel like she's the one like pulling the strings. You know? Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. crazy. It's crazy though. But yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful for. Man, you don't even understand how bad I'm very grateful for this opportunity. It means a lot. Yeah. Uh, I promise you, bro. I'm gonna keep this going, and it's, I'm, I'm gonna get far with this. Like you said, like, do you feel like you're gonna like, like, are you consider yourself to make it? No, I'm gonna make it. Right. I owe it to my mom. Right on. And to myself. Awesome. So you you're not gonna start like that's your that's your Quitting goal. That's an option. Yeah, that's good. Damn, I was talking to Droopy also, and he was saying too. He's like basically, you gotta sacrifice. Yeah. Some people don't want to sacrifice. He was saying. I was like, well, how do, you know? He was like, some people don't want to sacrifice. And I was like, what, what does that mean? So I just like you talking about that now. It's like damn. There ain't no other option. <laughs> you know? There ain't no other option. This is this is this is what I'm good at. This is what I'm gonna continue to be good at, and I'm just not gonna stop. So I so, guarantee myself. I guarantee, you, like I'm, like I'm a big believer of laws of attraction and manifestation. Yeah. Like, that's what I believe. Like I, I, if I think it, mm -hmm. you know, and I can see it, I vision it, then I can do it. Yeah. And I envision myself in a lot of, in a couple of years from now, I envision myself being somewhere very good. In a awesome. Very, very spot. That's awesome. Yeah, man. I was, I was gonna say something. Yeah. Seven. Oh, my bad. My bad. No, nah, it's all good. No, nah, you're here. We're here for you. You're here so that you can talk about your stuff. Yeah, law of attraction. Yeah, it's, so there ain't no option. Uh, you're going that route. You're not gonna stop. Uh, which is, man, that's that's dedication, determination. Just the way you're looking at me now, like you ain't, ain't nobody gonna take me out to this. That's <laughs> awesome, uh, man. So we've been, we're almost done here. I gotta. Uh, is there anything else you want to share? Any questions, you guys? They got like eight, seven minutes to share what they want. Was that my on TikTok? Uh, yeah, Yanni sent her road. Oh, Yanni, thanks for the rose. Appreciate you guys. Uh, if you want to support the channel for Corpus Christi Originals, uh, thank you very much for that, uh, for the love there on TikTok, so for sending the rose. Everyone, check out uh, Poppy uh, Paper Game Chachi. Uh, well, are you on so you're on YouTube, Mo, uh, YouTube and Spotify? Uh, the one song's on the Spotify and all the major platforms, which is the Flooded Gates one. Yeah, Flooded you can check okay. out the major platforms with the Flooded Gates song and all that. Yeah. Hey, Priscilla, appreciate you. A lot of comments, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm telling you, since we've been in here, this is I think this is the most we've had. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice. I appreciate that. Yeah, love. yeah, no, definitely. So so we find so uh I guess so we find you on on uh, that one song on Spotify. Yeah. And YouTube, I know YouTube, you have yeah. several songs on there. Yeah, and my I really post all my stuff on my Facebook page. Okay. That's right. But out of my brother's been telling me and my manager's been telling me, like, hey man, like you gotta up it up and not <laughs> and all the Instagram. You're like IG, more stuff. I gotta Twitter. do more stuff. Yeah, yeah I got I'm you. Like, all right, well, look, check it out. You gonna run that? You know what I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna stay with this side. And you run all that. <laughs> so that's what it's been. You know what I'm saying? But man, he's a good manager, man. He doesn't steer me wrong. But yeah, man, I got a lot of shit. Right on. So up. we find you on on Facebook, uh, paper, paper game? game Chachi. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the logo, uh, the, the image, what was it? It was like a like an album cover or something, right? Uh, I can't remember which one it was. Is that what we look like? <laughs> That's cool, right? Is that what we look like? Oh, shoot. I've been seeing the chat, okay? I know. Right? Dang, I need to lose some weight. <laughs> <laughs> I got pretty dark from working outside. <laughs> right on. Uh, yeah, well, if you got, I mean, we're going to wrap it up here. So yeah. if you don't have anything else to share, if you guys don't have any questions, um, uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys. Is there anything I just got to say, um, just keep just keep following me man i wouldn't like just keep thank you for the love thank you for everybody for the support thank you for your support thank you for the love that i've been receiving from numerous people you know it really means a lot it touches my heart mm -hmm. you know everything's appreciated um 
just keep following me keep looking out for me because i promise this ain't even over it's just begun yeah so i promise myself like i'm gonna be somewhere and i'm gonna make it and yes yeah. you can go ahead and save this life now because yeah. we're gonna look back and we're gonna laugh about it like damn she done said that right on. she doing it really jake yeah right on jake if you want to hear it too and go check it out check her out on uh, uh youtube and that one song on spotify look up paper game chachi you'll find her out there appreciate you guys if nothing else thank you guys for uh listening to corporate christian originals podcast uh